Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at uh, NC Level 1 Mathematics Common Assessment Task Algebra. And in this video, I'll be focusing on uh, some basic concepts on uh, parabolas and how we can use that to uh, solve uh, quadratic inequations. So in general, quadratic uh, inequality can be written in the form uh, ax squared plus bx uh, plus c is greater than uh, 0 where a is not equal to zero for uh, a b and c being the real numbers so please note that uh, we can also use less than less than or equal to or greater than or equal to so for this achievement standard it's easier to uh, identify the solutions if you're familiar with the shapes of uh, parabolas so uh, we've got two different types of uh, parabolas one is positive parabola which is uh, u-shaped so that's uh, positive uh, Problem. And how will you know it's a positive problem? The coefficient of uh, highest degree, which is x squared, will be positive. So if it's uh, positive, then you know the shape is uh, U-shaped curve. And the other one is upside down uh, problem, which will be uh, for negative uh, x squared and uh, once you know this uh, basic shape you don't have to draw the exact um, parabolas for level one but if you know the basic shapes you can use this to uh, identify the uh, solutions so your reference line will be your x-axis so in the assessment if you're given a uh, positive uh, parabola in the form ax squared plus bx plus c which is greater than zero now greater than zero means the area where the curve is above the x-axis so that means uh, the function is positive as you can see here this section here it's above the x-axis or on the other end the graph is always above the x-axis and x-axis is our reference point so in that case uh, the these x values here will give you the solution for that particular uh, scenario and uh, in other cases you may be given uh, the um, graph where the function ax squared plus bx plus c is less than zero now less than zero means uh, it's below the x-axis so uh, you'll you can clearly see that the uh, uh, section where it's below the x-axis is negative and it will be in between the two uh, values that you have calculated so using this logic we can find the solutions to uh, quadratic inequalities in the next video i'll go over past exam questions on uh, solving uh, quadratic inequations so please stay tuned for that thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video